gonna show you how to add a YouTube subscribe button or a YouTube watermark to your videos. So if you're wondering how to get more subscribers on YouTube, this is a quick and easy feature that you can enable in just a few clicks. So what I'm talking about here is the little subscribe button that shows up down in this bottom corner of your videos, primarily on desktop, and people can click on it and subscribe to your channel directly from the video itself. Now I'm gonna break this video down into two quick parts and you can use the timestamps and the chapter markers down below to jump around as you need to. But first off, I'm gonna quickly show you how to make a subscribe graphic that you can then use on your channel jump ahead if you've already got one. But then I'll show you how to easily upload and add that image as a button on your videos that people can subscribe to your channel through. For this, I'm gonna show you using a free, simple online graphic design tool called Snapper, but you could also use things like Canva or Adobe Express or another design tool too. So I'm over here now on Snapper. We can go ahead and log in or get started for free if we don't have an account yet. All right, so I'm logged in now. We wanna come over here and create a custom graphic. And what we need to type in here is the width 150, the height 150. These are YouTube's requirements, 150 pixels by 150 pixels and hit create. So this is our blank image here right now. The first thing we'll do is let's make this a red background. So we can come over here to background. We can just choose color and let's choose a red. There we go, something like that. Now let's go ahead and add some text that says subscribe. So let's come over here to text. We can add any of these, it doesn't matter. In this case, I'm gonna pick a heading. You can see our text box is here now. I'm gonna double click on this to select everything in it. And let's type in subscribe. Obviously way too big at this point. So we'll double click again to select it all. And then we can adjust the size here much, much smaller. Now it suggests that you're picking a font that is clear, that is bold, that is easy to read. Cause remember this is gonna be pretty small on the screen. If we scale this down, it's actually going to be about this sort of a size on the screen for people. So make this bigger now so we can see it. But you can see the default font here is probably gonna be good enough for me, but you could really use any of these. Maybe we'll go with this one, Anton. And we can make it a little bit bigger in this case. Okay, just something that's gonna fit in the box here. Let's make this white, so let's select it and let's change the color here to white. And let's move it down towards the bottom. Now let's go ahead and find a graphic or an image that we can use in here that looks like the YouTube logo or a play button. So we can come over here to graphics. You see there's lots of different icons, vectors, all of that stuff in here. So I'm gonna leave this here on icons and I'm just gonna search for YouTube. Let's just see what comes up here. Okay, cool, we've got lots of different types and styles of play buttons. This kind of thing is what we're looking for here. I'm gonna scroll down and see what else there is. Yeah, lots of similar ones in here. I'm gonna pick this black one here, click on it to add it in, and we can pick it up, we can move it around, we can scale it up. Now obviously we don't really want a black one here, we want a white one, so we can change the color on that. Let's make sure it's centered. So with it still selected here, we can come over here to color and fill and let's also make this white. There we go, very simple. So that's gonna be perfect for what we're looking for here. So we can then go ahead and hit download to save this. Now, because it's such a small image, it really doesn't matter which one of these formats you use and YouTube will accept any of these as long as the finished file size is under one megabyte, which all of these should be. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this higher quality one here, Retina PNG 2X size. So let's pick on that one. So I'm going to download to our computer and now we can upload this to our YouTube channel. So I'm over on YouTube and I'm in the studio dashboard area. You can just press your little account icon here and choose YouTube studio if you're not seeing this. Then all we need to do is to come over here to customization. And then if we scroll down the bottom here on this profile tab, then this is where we can add our video watermark. And again, it says here we need an image that is 150 by 150 pixels, which is what we've just made. So we can then choose upload, go ahead and find our image and hit upload. We can crop it here if we need to, but if you made it exactly how I showed you, you won't need to do any cropping. We can choose done. And we can see now that that's now been added. Now there's one last thing that you can configure here and I would suggest that you do. The default here for where this is gonna show up is actually at the end of the video. We don't want it just shown at the end of the video, we want it shown towards the start and for most of the video, not just at the end. So we have the option here to choose entire video, which isn't a bad option, but the one I'd recommend is that you actually choose custom start time and that we have this show up around 15 to 30 seconds into the video, just in case there was any ads or anything that are popping up at the bottom, that this isn't gonna get in the way of any of that. So I'm gonna choose 
choose here custom start time and we're gonna have this pop up 30 seconds into the video and then we're gonna hit publish up the top here. This is important, you don't wanna miss this. You need to hit publish to save these settings and that is then added to your channel. Now that you've got your YouTube subscribe watermark added to your channel, if you wanna learn how to get to 1000 subscribers fast, check out the video that's linked on screen. And as always, check out the description box below. We've got a bunch of other resources, tools and links and things there to help you even further. And I will see you in the next video. Cheers.